Mounting pressure from the opposition tonight as the Ford government plans to bypass public hearings in order to quickly pass controversial long term care legislation. Bill 7 would allow hospital patients to be moved to a temporary long term care home without their consent. And if they refuse, a fee could be charged and some estimate it could be thousands of dollars a day. Little beds weren't made for long term care patients. And what's happening is clogging up the emergency departments, delaying surgeries. These problems are decades in the making. But opposition parties are calling for clarity. Cruelty is not a solution. These seniors, these people with disabilities, they've done nothing wrong. What's wrong is the broken long term care and home care systems, systems that have been cut and privatized to the bone. How will the government guarantee that long term care homes? have the staff and resources they require to safely admit additional patients. Under Bill 7, patients can't be physically forced out of hospital, but if someone refuses a transfer, it's unclear what may happen. Long-term care minister Paul Calandra has stated that they should absolutely be charged a fee. If they are subject to the hospital's uninsured rates, it could mean patients are out of pocket thousands of dollars a day. When someone cannot afford to pay to stay in a hospital, how far away is the government willing to move them? The status quo is just simply not an option any longer. Minister Calandra did not directly answer the question, but the Liberals say for some it could be far away from family. We are now learning that in the north, patients could be sent to a long-term care home up to 300 kilometers away. Further south, that limit could be 100 kilometers away, and in cities, 30 kilometers. The Liberals adding that a source at Queen's Park provided that information. The Ford government insisting that the hospital sector has called for this move that would free up 2,500 more beds. According to the Ontario Hospital Association, there's 6,000, 6,000 beds being taken, uh, taken up by the alternative level of care patients in hospitals. It's the highest number in the history of this country. Like the OHA, the Ontario Medical Association representing doctors in the province also supports the bill. Understanding the need for it, given the crisis that we're in right now with the shortage of beds, there still has to be a role for a little bit of compassion and a little bit of common sense. The OMA is calling on the government to ensure transfers are conducted in a dignified way for certain populations, especially those with language barriers. In a statement late this afternoon, the Ontario Health Coalition says the pandemic exposed horrific conditions of care in some long term care homes, adding that many seniors are now frightened when it comes to just how far a patient may be transferred. The premier's office telling us today that no set distance has been decided on just yet.